Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. I posted a video earlier this week about Google Drive for desktop is going to be replacing Google's backup and sync. And I finally got around to downloading and installing the new application. And I popped it onto my PC this afternoon. And the first thing we can notice is in my system tray, I now have a new drive icon which is the Google Drive icon in a white square. And subsequently, I have uninstalled Backup and Sync because there was conflicting interests between the two and it was just getting a bit confusing. So I uninstalled Backup and Sync. I have kept my local folders because obviously I just want to check things out first, but I have deleted Backup and Sync. And if we click on Google Drive, this is what the new menu looks like. Obviously, you have your account. You can pop into your file where your local files are stored. You have your settings. Obviously, that's some uh, data of mine that has just been synced and everything's up to date. It gives you the message and then you also have notifications, um, no new no, no notifications. And this is where you'll get your notifications. And then if we go to settings, you have preferences. You can pause syncing about help, send feedback and quit. If we just go over to uh, preferences, I actually quite like the new preferences menu. I think it is a lot better than the backup and sync preferences menu as I did explain in my first video and you know yeah we can see in settings we have our account you can switch account disconnect account and you can launch drive on startup which I've done real-time presence in Microsoft Office see if someone else is editing a shared Microsoft Office file I've just left that on I actually don't use Microsoft Office but I've just left that on to see what will happen and then you can change your local cached files directory which I have done but I think I'm going to pop that back and yeah you can change your uh, drive letter for Google Drive in your file explorer which I've just left uh, as default and then we have our network settings which is very similar to that of backup and sync you know you have proxy settings auto detect I've left that at default and then you have your bandwidth settings which I've just left at default uh, which suit me fine and the first thing I want to point out here is that there is no option for my laptop to actually sync up to my drive in the cloud where in backup and sync I did. And I have restarted my PC twice to see if it would, you know, force it to detect it. But, you know, it's early days. Maybe this will pop up in days to come. But at the moment, there is no way for me to sync the uh, folders and files that I had uh, from my laptop up into my Google Drive. It's just from drive down to my PC. So that's a bit unfortunate at the moment. But I'll just fiddle around and uh, in the next uh, while, in the next couple of days. And, you know, I'm sure that that problem will solve itself um, eventually. And then another thing I want to point out, which I actually don't like about the new Google Drive. Maybe it's early days. Maybe I'll change my mind uh, in the near future. But at the moment, it only links to files instead of saving all the files onto the PC. And this I mentioned in my first video. And if we just pop over to that... Um, uh, Google uh, Drive the web page. If we just go down to uh, the, uh, some of the features, we can see it mirrors drive files on your desktop, which stores your files on your local device and enables quicker access to your content. So it actually doesn't have a two-way street. So you don't have what is on your laptop is in the cloud and what's in the cloud is on your laptop. Now, that's how it was with Backup and Sync. And at the moment, it only links to the files. So it only downloads those files into that folder when you actually access that folder. So if I just pop over to my file explorer, the first thing I want to show you here is it actually pops a whole Google Drive, an actual drive into your file explorer. So you've got, I've got my two Windows drives, OS, data, and then I've got now Google Drive which gives me free space and obviously the amount of space I have. And here's my drive and it's mirrored up here in my quick access. It pops a quick access uh, entry here in uh, the navigation pane and also adds it to your, uh, your, obviously your PC drives at the bottom. And if I click on Google Drive, here's my drive folder. You know, you can see everything is syncing. And as I mentioned, it only it'll only download those files from your drive if you click on the folder it's not a two-way street as I mentioned so what you have on your PC isn't what you've got in your cloud what you see in those folders is only a link to your drive 
is not actually on your PC. And then once you click on that folder, then those files download to your PC. Now, I don't like that. I prefer to be like my next cloud and my OneDrive where everything is a two-way street. What I have here is in the cloud and vice versa. So that's a bit of a negative, but I'm sure, you know, maybe um, I will get used to that in the near future. And then another thing is um, if you right-click on your desktop or in your context menu in general and you go new, it pops, now it pops Google Docs, Sheets and Slides into your uh, right-click con context menu if you go on, click on new, which wasn't there before. And it's also removed, uh, obviously, the backup and sync from your start menu. And it just pops a little drive icon uh, into your start menu under uh, G for Google. Now, my thoughts on this, as I say, I think I like the outlay of the menus. I think that they look a lot more uh, cleaner. There's actually some, you know, it's got a bit of a rounded corner. So it's taking on that new fluent kind of design, that new modern look. I like the look of the menu, but I don't like the fact at the moment, maybe this will change, that I cannot see my actual laptop um, in these settings. So if we just pop back to that pay, uh, that uh, web page of Google Drive again, yeah, you can see that it actually gives you an option um, for your laptop to have your laptop, you know, files you want synced up from your laptop, not just down from your drive folder uh, in Google Drive in the cloud. And then obviously what I don't like is the fact that, um, you know, it only links files instead of saving them, you know, instead of saving all the files onto your PC, as I have mentioned. But, you know, it's early days. I've just installed it this afternoon, so maybe that will change. But I just wanted to give you a quick overview of the new Google Drive which is replacing Backup and Sync, which I have now consequently uninstalled the Backup and Sync because I want to try out this and just obviously get up to speed with the new Google Drive and the preferences. And what I'll do is I'll leave a link in the description box below uh, to the first video I posted about the Google Drive replacing Backup and Sync, which has all details and obviously has also got this um, uh, blog post, the uh, Google Drive webpage in that link as well. So I hope you found this video useful. Once again, thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.